So you've just completed a test with your Fluke 435 and you want to transfer your data to the PC so you can do some reporting. You could use the USB port located on the side of the instrument, but the better way and faster way might be to just pull out the SD card for faster data transfer. To do that, you turn the unit off, turn it over, we've got two quarter turn screws here that we need to undo with the screwdriver. Then we pop off the cover. The SD card is tucked in right here. You push to release, slide it out. You'll want to note that it actually goes in upside down, you might think. Once that's out, we pop it into our laptop or a card reader. What we recommend you do on your PC is to create a separate directory called Fluke SD in your C drive to keep the directory name short so you don't have issues with the operating system. Within that drive, you can create names that are meaningful to yourself. I'll create a new folder and call it Demo. Then I can come over to my other drive over here and show you the SD card and there's a directory there called Fluke. I'll simply click and drag that into my demo folder. It copies it over and now I've got that information in my demo folder. So there's the new Fluke directory. The next step is to open PowerLog. Once the power log software is opened up, I could come and look at a COM port if I had my instrument connected via USB, or I can click File, and there's a highlight here for 430 SD card. When I do that, I simply navigate to where I stored that on the Fluke C drive before. So I go to Fluke SD, Demo, highlight the Fluke directory, and say OK. Don't double click, just say OK to the Fluke directory. At that point, it shows the test that we have, the measurements over here, the last one being measurement 24. I click on the download button. And there's the data from the Fluke 435. And that's how you transfer information into PowerLog.